Welcome. I'm Dr. Lynette Kennison, Program Director for the Veteran BSM Program at Jacksonville University. I also serve as professor for the Kegwin School of Nursing in the Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences. The documentary you're about to see is designed to share best practices learned in providing support to veterans who wish to enter the field of nursing. You will meet several key members of the Veteran BSN team, faculty, and also hear from students who are currently in the program, as well as those who have graduated and are now employed as nurses. Barriers, resolutions, and successes the program experienced will be shared with the viewer, along with various new programs developed throughout Jacksonville University, which enhances the existing military-friendly culture of the campus. I chose Jacksonville University over going to another university in the Jacksonville area because of the veteran strength here and what the outreach is to us as a veteran community. What comes to mind are the words accepting and pride. Our active duty military and veterans are held in high esteem at JU. We we're one of only nine universities in America who were originally awarded this, and as it goes into its fifth year now, I think it's one of the really stellar programs we've had in the history of this university that merges together what we believe in as the health sciences education and what we do for military members. Jacksonville has a well-earned reputation as the most military and veteran-friendly city in the United States. The city has the largest concentration of military bases in Florida and the largest population of veterans in the state. Jacksonville University has a thriving Navy ROTC unit located on campus. It is the second largest in the country. years and years we've been committed as a university to the military students here. You know, in a lot of ways, Jacksonville University reflects the community around us. Jacksonville, Florida is a military town. We are so excited all the way back to 1971 with the NROTC program that we've been able to partner with all types of military. And these days, we have 600 members of the military on our campus that we consider the JU military family. Grants are transformational for a university. It's a recognition by a federal organization that our university is capable to do something, not only for uh, individuals in our region, but for individuals around the country. Brooks Rehabilitation College of Healthcare Sciences seem like a model location to support a grant to support veterans. The Seedland idea started with grant writer Catherine Purcell and School of Nursing Leadership that believed in supporting veteran nursing students. When I was first hired at Jacksonville University, I spent a lot of time kind of scrolling through different grant opportunities and what would fit for the School of Nursing and what would fit for Jacksonville University. And the HRSA VBSN opportunity literally just like jumped off the page when we found it. It was just outstanding match for JU. It, and it's incredibly hard to find something where you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We already had a stellar nursing program. We already had a retired colonel with 30 years of experience who absolutely was dedicated to veteran transition issues, very interested in their mental health and wellness. Um, and so it just looked like a, like a solid knock out of the park home run. The, the VBSN grant allowed military personnel, both veterans as well as active duty to come into our uh, School of Nursing and be able to obtain either a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing or to be able to transition from an RN to a BSN level within 18 months. 
Early hires included Judy Ellis as the administrative associate and Dr. Sam Young, a retired Army physician who became the VBSN program advisor. When I first heard about the grant, I was fairly excited and also anxious about how are we going to pull all of, of this together? What can we do that is different and really meaningful to the students? I hope that my experience as a retired person from the military, both Navy and Florida Army National Guard, would be beneficial in understanding the needs of the student. And I tried to brainstorm with others as far as what can we offer that would be different. Judy Ellis, she, I mean, she actually, before she was even hired, was communicating with me to share ideas. And I thought, that's the kind of person I want to work with the veterans. I want someone who is very proactive, reaching out, not waiting for things to get done. I was very excited about starting to work with them from the beginning. Uh, it was a clean slate. It was quite enjoyable. Dr. Young was very enthusiastic and always kept me um, alert and smiling. Air was filled with electricity as we started the program. Uh, trying to build the uh, awareness within the JU community. I think one of the experiences was Sam Young and just to see his joy in working with students. His office was plastered with all sorts of charts that he had, grown, had drawn himself about pathophysiology and the students loved him. My military experience as a family physician is somewhat unique in that I had a very broad range of assignments, both uh, clinical and operational and leadership and academic. Uh, I retired from uh, clinical medicine in 2013, and shortly thereafter, I found out about uh, the HRSA grant to Jacksonville University, uh, which uh, was designed to support uh, veterans uh, in nursing school, and I became very interested in learning more about uh, this specific program. Brigadier General retired Michael Fleming joined Jacksonville University in 2014 as Chief Government, Military and Community Relations Officer. Yeah, we've, uh, we've worked very hard, starting with President Cost, on the culture at Jacksonville University. One of the things that we did is make sure that we really did an assessment of everything, the military program here, and see what we can do. Uh, one of the fundamental bu building blocks is we have complete support for our veteran students from the president, the faculty, and the staff, and also the fellow students. Also, I wanted to make sure that the campus with the faculty and staff understood the needs uh, and the concerns of veteran students. So we designed a program called Military 101. M Military 101 became part of an orientation for faculty, and then it morphed into Green Zone Training, which was a program that all of our um, faculty, staff, administration were to go through in order to understand the different branches of the military, the rank system, and talk about our student body in, in relationship to that. Our Green Zone training uh, is conducted by myself and Mike Mitchell, who's retired Navy chief, and we teach the faculty and staff about the military. And what we do, we want them to have an awareness of the military experience and also their transition from the military to college. And then we also provide them a certificate that's framed. We ask them to display so our veteran students understand that this faculty or staff member took the time to learn about them. The things here at JU that I think I valued the most is the faculty that have had prior military experience. Their understanding of where, what we've done and where we've come from, um, I think that's the biggest positive and that's one thing where I tell a lot of future MESUP students, look at JU. They're definitely a, a school that really cares about you. You have a faculty that is very supportive and they know where you're going and they know where you're coming from. The reputation throughout Jacksonville, even while in the program, when we would go to clinical days and the nursing staff would ask, which school are you from? They say, we're from Jacksonville University. They're like, oh, well, you're fine. You know, we, we trust you. We want uh, you to come and work with us. Another tree branch was enhancing support services for military students. In the School of Nursing, it was recognized that more tutoring services would be beneficial. A therapy technique called Accelerated Resolution Therapy was adapted to test anxiety and this was offered to all VBSN students and will continue after the grant ends. Students have often have a lot of test anxiety. If they don't get 75% on their exams, they don't pass the course. So 
I implemented a research project and have been, uh, for the past year, using accelerated resolution therapy with students. It is a wonderful way for them to identify stressors that they have in their background and work through them and reframe. It's like voluntary image replacement. If they had a bad experience in an exam, they don't want to take that memory to the next exam. You want to erase that memory, put in a projected good memory, positive memory, I'm going to do fabulous, and prepare them to then go to that next exam and do well and have positive expectation for themselves. Well, the art therapy with Professor Kennison was phenomenal. Um, I was having issue with test taking uh, last semester and having that um, program with Professor Kennison, it alleviated everything, all my stress and anything when it comes to test taking. And throughout the, during the exam, I did phenomenal. But taking my first exam, after I had that session, I felt a bit of a, a calm to come to me and not to think more so of the test, but to think about other things, um, happy things. Team members changed through the five years of the grant. Camille Howard joined the team as program coordinator. I joined Jacksonville University in January of 2015, and I became their VBSN, Veteran BSN Program Coordinator. So one of my uh, chief roles is, as Program Coordinator is to help the students prepare as they graduate and get ready to take the NCLEX RN, which is a state board exam. Uh, one of our Board of Advisor members had brought to our attention about uh, a year and a half ago the Passpoint program. It's a software program by Lippincott. It's wonderful because it actually allows them to mimic what the actual state board exam will be. The Passport training is uh, for, for it's a program for allows us to use for the NCLEX program. And uh, the, the training itself was fairly easy. And it's been very, very beneficial for me personally because it's actually helped me prepare for a lot of the ATI questions and the upcoming NCLEX. Our pass rate on our NCLEX, which is the national certification examination that all students take when they graduate for the last five quarters has been 100%. I would definitely recommend other service members and veterans to attend Jacksonville University's nursing program because it's, it's top notch in the area. You definitely get uh, an experience and it really prepares you for you know, your future in nursing. They also have a 100% uh, NCLEX passing rate, which is phenomenal. Well, here in the nursing program, I felt like I got from the instructors the best education. Not only do they teach you, but they uh, mold you. I owe my success to finishing my schooling here at Jacksonville University to the amazing staff. The support that I got at this school was beyond anything I ever expected. I think we're very well aware now with generals working here, captains, colonels, with what are the specific needs of the military community today. I think we're able to answer that.